Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Shasha SJ. Thank you so much for coming by today. I am so happy that you are here today. Today we are going to make another DIY from the Dollar Tree item, which is I think you can do this. And it's super easy and yes, today my son is going to help me out and he said he wants to help me. So yeah, and there you go, let's get started. Today with this particular project, we are going to need a a paint paint and this is what we choose and we are going to need a gift boxes as well I got everything from the Dollar Tree beside the paint and the ribbon that color and you can that pick color. any choice that you want but this time this is what we want okay next you'll need a paint brush any type of paint brush Yes, my son wants to help me out this time. He wants to paint, so. So, we need a, what's those? We need, as well, a picture frame. So it'll be four of them. Four we need of them. four of them. Yes, so we got two. This time. This time. But it'll be four in a few. And those ones. Next, it's a magazine or any newspaper or a paper of your choice. This is just, we just, going to use it to cover in our placemat so if in case we have a spill of paint then we are protecting our mat all right first we're going to grab our paint brush we got this from the dollar tree and there were like three of them three size for a dollar so this is what we have and little guy is going to use the small brush And now we are going to open our picture frame. This. Use the scissors, baby. Okay. So you open it with any sharp object like right, scissors or a knife. Be like very that. careful, huh? Yes. Do you need a help? And then you have to turn it around. Yeah. Make sure it's in the middle. Then you have to remove this glass frame. Open this up like so. And push it out. Okay. All you have to do, baby, is so it's safer. Yes. Push this one out. Let me grab this one for you, okay? So it's safe. So it should be empty if when, once you take the picture out and, and the, glass. the glass and yeah. Let's start to paint it. Let's start painting, guys. Okay. This could be yours. And this could be mine. And let's put that right there. So, you need two kinds of paper. So it protects your mat. Yes. And we are going to pour a paint down here. And this is what we choose. This is what we want. The technique on this, guys, is I am not a good painter, but the technique with what I'm going to do is, is just going to be easy. Enough to look like there's a snow in it, so I'm just going to dab it like this so it creates like it's distress, so it's not totally as painted. As you can see what I'm doing right now it's like almost it's being distressed or somehow so it's not totally painted but you can see a little bit of black in there so it looks like it's splattered with snow
And I think that's it. That's all you do is paint it and wait till it dries. Going, Baba. Keep painting it just like that. Right there. So. So it'll be look like this. It's almost like distressed. Perfect, babe. You did a good job. Yeah. And then we have to wait until they dry. All right, so they are all dry now. Super dry. Next is you are going to remove this right here, this metal-ish right there. All you have to do is just remove it. All right, since it's removed, now we can put back the glass in here. The cover, which is the back of it, you don't have to put them in there. I don't have an E6000, but I have this one. It is a Fabri-Tac, which is perfect for, it will bond fabric, lace, glass, leather, wood and trims, grabs fast and dries clear and acid-free, then it is washable at the same time. So we'll see how it works. And I never tried this, but it's, that's what it says. I don't have an E6000, so this is just an optional. So all you have to do is you just have to put glue on the corner of that rim, just in there. Not so much, but enough. So it's not going to be smudging outside the glass. Okay. So just like that in that corner. And then you make sure that the glass that you put on is the right glass of the frame because I was having a hard time putting the other one because it wasn't the right one. So then I have to clean them again and then I have to redo. So I got that lesson learned. So you can put them in there now and you just have to wait until they dry. So now we are going to work on with this little box. This is when you use, like if you have a present, it's a gift box, it's booty somehow. So we are going to work on this one. I'm looking for my scissors right now where it went. My son decided to go downstairs in his bedroom. I think he was done painting. So it's just me right now, continuing all this. I kind of like want to use the snowman, but then I also like Santa. So I am so, don't know what to use right now. So, <laughs> so help me God. <laughs> so I'm going to find and check which one would be better, okay? All right, so I figured everything is already dry from this and it holds really perfect from that fabric tack. What I'm aiming right now is I want to see Santa smile down there, just like that. And I want, I kind of like the Merry Christmas, but it doesn't look right when I do that like that. So it's just going to waste, but I just want to see his smile. So I'm going to fit that pretty smile down there and do it like so. And as you can see, there's some space in there. So what I noticed is that, see, as you can see, you can see my finger down there. And I was like opening it and I'm so lucky that there is more down there. So when I open it, so I am so lucky. So you just have to open it. So you have more space, okay. And there you go, has more space in there. And 
I will put that smile down there of Santa smile. And I'm going to put that in there. And one thing I don't like is I don't like this little lines down here with this, you know, the folded one. So what I'm trying to do and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this greenish down here. So there is a little bit dimensional and almost like 3D. So I am going to work on this project and I'll show you guys after I'm done. Okay, so stay tuned. Oh, by the way, I'm going to use this Fabri-Tac as well because if I'm going to use a glue gun, it's going to... I have no time to wiggle my frame. I want something that I have time to wiggle on. So I'm going to use this Fabri-Tac. Alright, so they are all glued. As you can see, they look super pretty. And then they have like a little bit of 3D-ish inside the frame. So right now, I am going just to cut them with the scissors or maybe a craft knife. We'll see how it goes. If my scissors doesn't work right, so maybe we will proceed to a craft knife. Okay, so right now I'm just going to follow the line of this. As you can see, it's getting looking better. And I'm just going to cut this off again more down here. The only good thing about the liquid glue, guys, with this Fabri Tac is I can have time or I will have time to wiggle all my projects. So if you can find E6000, this is awesome and it works super perfect on my project right now and I would recommend it. Alright, so as you can see guys, it's a little bit flimsy as you can see they bent in half and they bent on the other half right here. So what I'm trying to do is I'm going to try and put a glue in there so they are more, they're more steady and I'm going to double them up so they're more like sturdy, okay? So I'm just going to put more glue in here in the middle. The good thing about this is that this tip is pointy so it is super perfect to work on. So I'm just putting glue in here and while it is wet, I still have time to work on the other side as well. So that's what I'm trying to do right now. And this is so nice and then they dry clear as well. And 
And there you go. All you have to do is just wait until they dry. Super cute. I really like this, guys. Super, super cute. So while this one is drying, I'm going to double the back of this one so it's more sturdy. So I just use this other box and then do everything and I'm just going to trace the this one and cut them. Then I'm just going to glue this one in here so they are more sturdy and clean. Okay, so I'm just going to put a glue. I'm going to use still the same one so then I have time to wiggle it up. Alright, so as you can see, they are more sturdy. Look at that. Super pretty and clean in the back. They're way strong now too. There you go. So that's how it looks in the back. And I just want to show you the closer look. As you can see, there's a little trees. In their inside like a 3d and sparkles and everything so that's what I did and I'm going to try and decorate this one guys All right, so right now I'm just going to glue this one in here. And as you can see, I use everything from the Dollar Tree. And this ribbon is from Walmart. And this is this kind, a this one. So, and then I'm just gonna use this one from the Dollar Tree as well, those ring of bells. So, and this time I'm going to use a glue gun. So everything is going to be sturdy as well. Alright, so there is my decorations on the corner. And what I'm trying to do is so that I can hook them on the back, I'm going to use this. Not a hammer, but this one. This one. And a thumb tucks thumb tucks <laughs> I don't know how you say it. thumb tucks whatever so I'm just going to use this on the back so I can I can hook this up and put them on my wall and there you go I have a hook on the back Perfect. There you go. So it's perfect, guys. Super perfect. Look at that. There. Now I can give this as a present or I can put this on my decorations on my wall. What do you think? So that's it, and I'm going to show you the closer look of this, alright?
so that's it that was super easy and fun and i hope you are going to make one of these and grab some at the dollar tree and yes that was super super cool it's super nice as well to give to give it as a present of your loved ones and i'm sure they are going to love it so i think that's it thank you so much for watching shasha sj again come back next time you have an awesome day Thank you.